everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and today I have two special guests. My sister Sol. Hello. And my sister Sina. Hello. But if you watch any of the vlogs or any of my other Hello. videos, these losers always love to join in. <laughs> I'm sorry, before we she start, Seppi smells so nice that I can't concentrate. I know, right? I just want to wear it. I'm wearing, 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 so I'm wearing oh food is for God. home at Sol. It's my birthday. It smells so nice. And I'm, I'm also wearing, I'm wearing Kayali yeah. Elixir 3 or something from Huda Beauty. Okay, so guys, you know what time it is. You have sent in your questions via Instagram. If you don't have your Instagram, get on there, follow me. Um, my or me. <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram is Persian Bunny. Persian These two Bunny. Instagrams will be linked down below as well. Um, and while you're there, you might as well like, comment, subscribe on this video. Do it. Okay, so we're gonna be answering your dilemmas. Wow, this one is very long, okay. Okay, so the first question someone submitted to me yesterday and goes, have you filmed the advice video yet? And I said no. She goes, woohoo, I'll cut, try and keep it short and sweet. How do I politely downgrade a friend to an acquaintance? Ooh. Basically, I have a word for this and it's called phase them out. It's so weird because this is the second person who's told us this this week, you know? Who's the first? You can't name names now. <laughs> but yeah, we need, to, we need to teach you guys how to phase people out. So there are times in life where you and your friends, close friends, distant friends, whatever. Well, they wouldn't be distant friends. So your close yeah. friends, you guys go in different directions in life and, and you've you got to phase them out, right? You're just no. Not, if you're going different directions, life's way. phased you out. Yeah. But sometimes no, some people bring negative energy into your life and you just... And do. they're just not who they were when you first mm. were so close. So. So, or maybe they're not good friends. Yeah. yeah, so just be less available is the first thing. So whereas before, if you were free, you would tell them you're free. It's time to say, I've got to hang out with my family. Someone's coming over. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I have to study. Yeah. Actually, don't say I have to study because people then get weird and then want to distract you from studying. Oh. Why do they study, you know? So, yeah, just I think phasing them out is being less available. And um, but still be polite. Yeah. <coughs> less. <coughs> excuse me. Still be polite because, as Sol said in the previous advice video, uh, today's friend is tomorrow's enemy. Today's oh. enemy is tomorrow's friend. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So, next question. Gosh, you know I have like a whole screen record of questions. Except they're selfies. They're just pictures of me. <laughs> just like, I have a screen record. No, no, no. here awesome. it is. A two minute screen record of questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, All right. Look, okay. Okay, look, okay, we And I'm scrolling and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we believe um, you. How do top. I get Sol to date me? That's <laughs> <laughs> no question. Okay, so I was wondering, how do you balance uni work with having a social life? You can answer that. Um, I think the best thing that works for me is first do your uni work so when you come so it, try to do your uni work as early as possible in the day and then be finished by maximum 8 p.m. and uh, at 8 p.m. onwards no matter what just chill whether it's watching TV whether it's going out with your friends or so on but Try to wake up extra early and do everything beforehand. So, so you get more hours in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Sol and Sina um, are good at working throughout the year. I'm good at working throughout the year, but I do most of my work towards the last chunk of the year. We so. do that as well. I so, do that. But so, I have. I like to prepare. I have no choice to yeah, do so my prepares. work throughout the year because I've got exams throughout. Yeah, the year I have an exam year. at the end of the year, so my I have schedules like having GCSEs or A levels or whatever. Mm. Basically, I think that you have to wake up extra early and try and get as much done as you can throughout the day. And then this way, by 8 p.m., you've kind of done everything. And, well, not everything, but you've covered everything you wanted to cover that day and you can relax. But no matter what, set a time and be like, after this time, I'm going to relax and really don't do nothing because you need a break. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next question. How to end a four-year relationship without feeling guilty? Mm, no matter what, you're going to feel guilty. I think Sol should answer this one. Uh, the longer you let it go on, the more you waste their time yeah, that's and true. yours. And that's why you should feel guilty. And it's not fair, yeah. It's not, it's fair. not fair on them. How do I get over a crush? Okay, I do this a lot, about once a month, so I can help you with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's really easy. First one is uh, find a new crush. <laughs> that, that works well. If you can't find a new crush, 
to distract yourself, either throw yourself into work, which is what I tend to do, um, uni, watching YouTube videos is always fun, distracting yourself, going out with your friends, Just don't going about to the them. gym, and anything to stop you from thinking about them. When you do all these things, they're all quite social, you end up meeting someone new. And don't go out with your friends and just sit there and talk about your crush. Yeah. Because then it kind of like... So true. Yeah. <laughs> it requires effort for you to stop thinking about them and then it eventually becomes second nature. Next question. Hey girl, how can I stop caring about what other people think of me? Sana. I think that if you feel happy with who you are, then don't care about what other people think because everyone's always got an opinion Everyone on you. Everyone always has and an Everyone's opinion. always going to be, and unfortunately a lot of times their opinion is not positive. So it doesn't matter, just do you. I, I read this, sorry to interrupt you, I read this crazy thing the other day and it was like, there is not one version of you that exists in this yeah. world. So um, the way you see yourself is different to how your mum sees you. Um, the way your dad sees you, your friends see you, a stranger in the street sees you, the waiter who serves you at a restaurant sees you. There's everyone not one has. version of you that exists. So you're not going to be able to please everyone's version of you. So you might as well just be happy in the version of yourself. My golden rule to live by with stop with in life in general is the only people's opinion who matters is your family's and your own. If you can be proud of who you are, you've not done, you don't do anything where you're like, ugh. Like, I'm such a bad person, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And that's all that matters. What other people think about you is says more about them than it says about you. Right. Very well said. <laughs> do, do you believe in putting things out in the universe or in things happening when you least expect? I'm sorry, I'm still laughing about another question that's just <laughs> inappropriate to say. But, um, I believe that whatever you put out there is actually going to come back to you. And I really, really believe in positive energy and just thinking really positive i mean it's not easy to do that it's not easy to be positive all the time but you have to try and look at the brighter side of things and you know if you know something's going to make you sad or stress you out just try not to think about it and look at the bigger goal and the bigger picture i think you should put things out into the universe and i think you should say what you want and really expect it to happen yeah. to you also bear in mind things will happen to you when you least expect it because when you put things out into the universe a lot of times you forget um, what it is that you what it is that you said exactly and whilst you're going through a process of it happening it will happen when you least expect but don't be afraid to voice your goals say what it is you want to achieve and don't write be, it down yeah. write it down write don't it be, down don't be scared of yourself basically is what yeah. I'm say. be honest with yourself say what it is that you want you know you're limitless Okay, next one. Actually, I remember one of my girls, if you are the girls who chat to me in my DMs, I have so many combos with, with you guys going on. Boys and girls, actually. Um, but one of the girls messaged me and she said, um, a girl, her best friend, she had a crush on a guy, and then her best friend um, and him suddenly started hanging out a lot, and she asked them, what's going on between you guys? Is there anything going on? They're like, no, no. And then they were like, we're, like we don't like each other like that. And as soon as she went away on holiday for two months, they started dating. No. And she's like, now I need to come back to where I live. And how do I, uh, like, ascend it? Uh, yeah. Phase that friend out. Okay? Yeah, it's going back to the first question. That is not a friend, okay? A friend. No, you don't I, do that. I, one of my one of my really close friends, Annabelle, always says, "There's so many fish in the sea. Why do you have to pick someone else's fish? Like, so there's so many fish in the sea. Just you know what? She's not a good friend to you. Definitely that guy is not. nothing special. Like he just proved that to you. So you know, phase him out as well. Oh, wait, I like this question. It says, "I'm Persian, and I know for a fact that Persians can be shady. Should I?" distance myself from Persians. No. No. Don't generalize. It's not just Persians. Like you can't it's just human beings. Every human being in every country in every culture they've got different sort of people and you can't just generalize and think that it's just Persians or it's just There's good know. and bad in yeah. Them. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like we should, as if you guys are Persians watching this, like as our community like as a community we should try and like support each other and and uh, if there is a shady Persian you know, it's just the one. Not every one off, person yeah. is a shady bird. Yeah. yeah, you know, we've got such strong culture, beautiful country. Let's be proud of who we are. Okay. Ooh, my fiance's ex stalks me on Insta daily. <laughs> should I block or should I let the games begin? Don't block. My dad told me this, okay? Um, there was someone who I really wanted to unfollow on Instagram. My dad goes, no, don't unfollow her. 
And then he was like, she deserves to see how well your life is going. If you unfollow her, she'll but follow you back. But this wasn't no fiancé's ex. Or yeah. <laughs> but as in... It was one of those friends that were faded out. Yeah, it was one of those faded out friends. But you guys really should not block anyone, especially the haters. Let them see how well your life is going. Yeah. And there's no game to play. Yeah, yeah you've already won. So true. So people saying keep me anonymous. We've kept everyone anonymous. Don't worry, guys. Someone said, what did you get in your GCSEs? I got nine A stars and two A's, but I don't think that's that's juicy. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> okay. I like this boy. He declined my IG request, though. What do I do? Ooh. He declined your IG request. He's lost. Let's go back to just phase them out. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, it's kind of like start this new your, hashtag. I think it's kind of like getting over your crush one as well. Yeah, this is kind of you've got to phase out people who are not worthy of being in your life. And I feel like if you guys uh, you know, watch this video, put hashtag phase them out under, we do this under one, our pictures. Please. Also, you know, there's there was this weird film I watched where it was like he's just not that into you. There's I really, a book as well. Yeah, I really believe it. Like if a guy wants you, if someone show really, you. whether it's a girl or a guy, if they really want you, no matter what, honestly to God nothing can stop you think about you yourself personally if you really want someone is there anything that can stop you from going and even approaching them or somehow like making it known that you want them no and that's vice versa so if they really want you they'll come after you if they don't then you'll know they're lost last question um, I've been talking to this boy for a year now and he's still very indecisive about being official Get rid of him. No, Phase him out. Okay, I don't agree. <laughs> Do you not? No, I say give him an ultimatum. No, one entire year. He had 12 months. Have you months, given him an ultimatum? 52 weeks to make you his. He's weighing out his options. He's waiting for something better to come yeah, along. Yeah, that's true. And he's entertaining you. No, what's his reason you, for not wanting to like you just think he's serious? Yeah, one why? Year. Yeah, You're think, worth more than that. You ask him what is your reason. Has Have you given him an ultimatum? Yeah. If you haven't, maybe give him the ultimatum. Why do you have to give someone an ultimatum? You have to. You it's can't. not fair. You always give no, people a chance. No, they shouldn't want to be with you. An ultimatum is not giving him a chance. No, it is. It's been, Mikhail Bamambashi or not. No, they should just want to be with you. You deserve someone who well, wants to be to with you. you. But I would say just give, like, talk to them. Tell them what you're thinking because maybe they have no clue that you feel yeah. like this. And, you know, maybe they think you're happy with everything. So, so many, I can't lie. So many of my friends, so many of them get strung along by guys these yeah. days. And then as soon as they give the guy the ultimatum, he's like, oh, but I'm not sure, thinking he can still get away with it. She cuts him off. Not even a week later, we'll be sitting down at Shisha or whatever, and he's ringing and yeah. ringing. Then the next friend, he's texting and texting. They all come running back because they think they can tell. We call that Satan. They basically push you so much, and then once you reach your limit, you're gone. And they're like, shit, she's gone. Yeah. But yeah. But wait, as soon as you give them attention, they won't want it again. Because these, this, oh. This is how this is, oh, blah, 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 blah. This is how <laughs> indecisive people are. Yeah. You deserve better than yeah. that. Yeah. Because if, even if you get back together with them, they're going to break up with you again, or they're going to put you in that same situation again. Limbo. So, yeah. No one deserves to be in limbo. You need someone who knows what they want. And so. knows they want you. Because you're special. You are. I'm so special. <laughs> that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up so we know to keep on filming. Subscribe, these. subscribe, subscribe. And we read all your comments. Thank you for we all do. the nice ones. And we read, yeah. guys. We read, amazing. We read your comments, we read your DMs. Our Instagrams are right across the And just the out there, I want to say that we do read the Persian comments as well, even though my Farsi is so, it's so difficult. Yeah, I'm so Farsi. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah. On a different note, my mom absolutely loves, loves reading the comments. She gets so excited as well. <laughs> So thank, thank you guys, you guys so much. much for the support. Love, Love you, you guys. Bye.